Welcome back, Regenerators, to another episode of Regeneration TV. You already know what it is. Uh, I was going to do a challenge or a funny video, but something's been weighing in my heart uh, for a long time. Uh, a devotional that I want to share with you guys. A lot of people said that when somebody talks on Regeneration TV that they feel inspired or they learn something new, and we want to continue this due to the fact it's not all about fun and games. Uh, it's all about God and helping you out with your, um, your Christian walk. So for all the youth out there or all the old folks that are looking at, at us as well, uh, I brought to you today a little thing that I feel passionate about now. Uh, recently, we've been hearing at a church about putting God first. Uh, in anything we do, prioritizing life with God at top. So in my life, I usually didn't do that. Uh, it was always my work was first and then bills, my girlfriend or my fiance now. Um, so God was always in the back burner and I didn't want that. I didn't feel like I, I was complete with uh, having him in the back burner. So what I started doing was doing little devotionals here and there and actually doing uh, one of those Bible plans or the study Bible plans on the Bible app. And it's been helping a lot. And I can't express how my life has changed because I felt, I feel like it's changing a lot just with these devotionals. I've been Recently studying the book of Genesis and the creation because I believe that or I heard that if you want to understand the New Testament, you have to understand what's been going on in the Old Testament because the Old Testament is pretty much the foundation of Jesus coming and all these things that are going on. So to understand some of the, the future things that they talk about, like... Um, some rituals and some customs. You have to understand where that came from and and uh, who's been practicing them. So back to my life, it's it's been great. Uh, been reading the Bible from from different sections, and I wanted to complete the uh, the whole Bible in a year. So I am. Plan to finish next year in September, reading the whole Bible. And to be honest, I'm just reading it through, trying to grasp the stories because everybody knows the stories pretty well, but I know the stories because of the movies that came out. So it's great to actually dive in and knowing uh, the, the stories directly from the book of life. Um, but other than that, uh, the way that I've been doing it is not actually reading it. It's actually anywhere I go, I'll drive to work, I'll drive to see Carol, I'll drive to an event, and I just put it on my aux cord and I listen to it on my way. And it's been helping out a lot due to the fact it keeps God in my life constantly. And it's been a blessing. All my worries are so small compared to what they used to be. I don't worry about anything, uh, just minor stuff here and there, but there, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't give me anxiety or anything like that. I feel at peace. And other than that, I also implemented praying in the morning, which I didn't usually do. I just wake up and do my thing and go to work or go to church. But I'll wake up, get on my knees and pray. And then usually I'll lie down and do a fast prayer at night. But I actually take the time to get on my knees and pray and come to God. And that's been helping out a lot. And I feel like I, I've been growing spiritually and it's been great. Now, the person that inspired me was actually Samuel Apoll Apollinar. He's the one that did a little... Well, we're doing a little series here at church, but he's the one that on Friday, he said something that we have to prioritize ourselves 
And he took it to extreme a little bit. He was like, would you rather read a devotional or eat breakfast? And as you know, my stomach's pretty big, so I love breakfast. So I went for breakfast. But he, he went to the extreme on that, and I, I took it to the heart. I was like, maybe I can, I can take a short time out of my day just to dedicate to God, but it blossomed to something bigger. Now, everybody is worried about, oh, what about school? What about my career? What about this and that? Everything, would, it's going to be okay. That's what I learned. Everything's going to be fine. Because it says in Matthew 6, 33, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. In other ver versions, it says, will be given to you. And I truly believe that. That all these problems, all these worries, they're, they're going to fade away. Because at the end, if you put God as a priority in your life, He's going to take care of that. And I honestly, as a witness, I can tell you, as a testimony, I can give you that He has been taking care of me. I haven't worried about Bill. I haven't worried about anything. The food, on my, uh, food I eat, everything was given to me. And I want to encourage everybody out there to try it out. Try it out for a week. And I guarantee you, once you read and once you communicate with God very often, you're going to see how big He is. You're going to see how great He is. So great that your problems become from this big to this big. And He'll take care of you. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. And also... Um, let us know how it goes for you. Or if you already do that, reading the Bible a lot, let us know in the comments how uh, it's helped you out. Or if you have any motivation uh, comments, go ahead and leave them because I'm sure people read them. So we, we always read it. I always read them. I always comment back no matter how late it is. I always comment back. So we do appreciate the support. I always wanted to remind you guys that we're here for you. If you're going through a struggle, if you're going through anything that is really giving you anxiety, I'm letting you know this, that we're always here for you and we're, uh, we're, uh, have, we have open ears for you. So come on and contact us in any way and the people that have my personal number, go ahead and contact me and I'm always open to listen. In other news, we have a couple events coming up in November. We have, uh, let's see, annual church Thanksgiving dinner. If you want to come to our ch uh, church Thanksgiving dinner, it's on Saturday the 17th. We invite everybody. It's a potluck. Bring something. Don't bring something. Bring an appetite and eat all our food. We don't care. And as for the regeneration group, we have on Saturday the 24th, it it's our Friendsgiving dinner. During lunch, we have usually a Friendsgiving dinner for all the youth. We cook um, food. I usually cook our my big mac and cheese. Everybody loves it. I put like three different types of cheeses in there and then some, some breadcrumbs on top. It's delicious. And then we have Jesse's barbecue chicken. He does it every year. I love that stuff. I can only eat one piece though because I don't like chicken that much. But then we have on the, the TV raffle on the 24th, which is going to be a big TV. Um, we're going to raffle it off. I don't know the details on that, so we'll find out soon that how much the tickets cost and when would be the cutoff date. But everybody wants a TV, so why not just get it for free? Not, not for free, but for a couple of dollars instead of like 600 bucks, because I'm sure it's going to be huge. And we have Super Sad, Super Sabbath, Julian, Super Sabbath, Super Sabbath, starting Friday the thirty first, and it goes all the way to December the second. Never mind, December the third. It goes all the way to December the third. Is that right? No. 30th oh. Monday. So it goes from the thirty first all the way to the second. December 2nd. That's where all the churches come together from the Bay Area and we do what we do best and praise God. There's going to be great music. 
there's gonna be a lot of food and then there's gonna be fellowship and it's great once we come together as a whole family and feel that warmth and feel that, I don't know what it is, but it's an energy that is undescribable and you have to come to enjoy that. Uh, that's, so the first Super Sabbath is gonna be on the 31st at Mercury Church at 7 p.m. Then Saturday, the first, it's going to be the main event, and it's going to be hosted by Gilroy Church, and it's going to be here in Morgan Hill. And then Sunday, the third day, it's going to be at MDR Church over in San Jose. So don't miss out. No excuses. You heard it here first, okay? I think first. No, I think they're, they've been announcing it, but you already heard it here. Um, and then, oh, okay. The TV raffle ends on Saturday the 15th. So it's pretty much a month that you get to pick it out. And then we're also going to be selling cookies and milk for that raffle on Saturday the 15th. And we're having a San Francisco day trip on Sunday the 30th. So if you want to go to San Francisco with us, go see all the tour stuff. Come join us. We're probably going to go everywhere because we're crazy like that. And if you want to join us on Monday the 31st, we're having a church vigil here. And we're, it's not an all-nighter, but it's pretty much all night. Halfway until like 12. So come and join us. There's going to be a lot of worship. There's going to be uh, a message there. And it's always great um, to hear the message on visuals because they, they come at a different level. They come with a punch. And I always enjoy them. And then January, starting our new year, 2019, is our New Year Day bike race. We usually have a bike race that is like 16 miles long from, I would say, from San Jose all the way down to here in Morgan Hill. So it's seven, 16 miles bike race. And if you're first, second, third place, there's a prize. And if you're last, man, don't blame you because it's hard. Um, but I never come last. Remember that. And bowling night on the Saturday the 19th. So if you want to come on Saturday 19th of January, you can come to our bowling night. It's two months ahead. So make plans. Put in your calendar. If you're a church out there that wants to join us, Feel free to contact us. Let's make this a big trip. And then we completely forgot that we're doing a game night on Saturday the 1st, which is the Super Sabbath, the second day of Super Sabbath. Right after the service, make plans to come over to our church and have a game night and enjoy some good company because just because church ended doesn't mean that the fun has to stop. Other than that, that's all the news. We appreciate you. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you want to share this video to help out somebody, you never know who it can help out. And just go ahead and share it. And then hit that thumbs up because everybody loves doing that. I see like 10 plus thumbs ups. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Don't forget to die from your old self, to live your new life, and be regenerated. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.